A group of parishioners from St. Philip's Catholic Church in Bemidji began a five-day pilgrimage. Our reporter Malaka Tab tells us where they're headed and why. Especially from our parishes, we pray that you help us to be focused on you. Uh, to... As people gather around, Father Brian of St. Philip's Catholic Church says a prayer before they begin their journey. This is the first year that the church will do a 90-mile walk. We uh, talked to the Diocese of Crookston and they said, uh, why don't you guys test it out and see how it goes. Uh, make sure everybody's safe and that you know, we can uh, handle a 90-mile walk. In total, there are 12 members of the church walking, but only six of them will finish the whole trip. St. Philip Catholic Church members started their walk from Sacred Heart Church in Wilton early this morning and will end their five-day pilgrimage at the cathedral in Crookston. 20 years ago in the Diocese of Duluth, uh, my father-in-law, who's now a deacon, uh, did a similar thing. They went from Pequot Lakes all the way to Duluth, and uh, they just talked about just sort of what a spiritual journey it was and how the benefits of um, throughout the area. And so we're like, I don't know, maybe it'd be something that'd be, that'd be fun to do here. Organizers say on average they'll be walking 20 miles a day, and the idea is to raise awareness and promote new vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Father Brian and I started playing this like six or seven months ago, so it's been a, a lot of details and work. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for it, though. I think it's gonna be good. The group's 90-mile walk for vocations journey started at Wilton. From Wilton, they'll head over to Bagley. Boston, Mentor, and then their last destination of the trip will be in Crookston. At their stops, they'll be staying in one of the Catholic churches in the area each day. And we're hoping really what comes up is that people, um, you know, continue to pray for vocations, but also continue to maybe discern that in their own life if there's a call for, for them to, to serve others, whether that's, you know, through religious life or through the priesthood. So um, we kind of feel like uh, the the fruits of this journey maybe won't be seen for 15 or 20 years, but hopefully those seeds will kind of be, be planted. So that's the goal. Reporting in Wilton, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. There will be a mass in Crookston on Saturday at 830 to conclude their 90 mile walk. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.